Ladies, gents and teddy bears, welcome to episode 4 of Lost Airfields and Ted and I are at RAF Woolfox Lodge which was once home to the Avro Manchester, Short Stirling Bombers, Avro Lancasters and the Bristol Bloodhound Missiles. The airfield had a Class A layout which was a set of three converging runway strips. This configuration was quite common during World War II and meant that there were six possible directions for takeoff. They were even made to a 60 degree angle of each other. RAF Woolfox Lodge was built in 1939 and was in use from 1940. Although homing various operational training units and heavy conversion units, it was also once home to bomber squadrons. The OTU's operational training units and HCU's heavy conversion units were like today's OCU's operational conversion units, like 29 Squadron at Ted's home, RAF Coningsby. They trained the pilots and crew on a specific aircraft. Now, during World War II, training units suffered many casualties and losses of aircraft. Not all losses were in combat, but training meant that going into battle was imminent. 61 Squadron arrived in September 1941 with their Avro Manchesters and later converted to the Avro Lancaster in 1942. Four of its Lancasters, EDA60 and NAN, EE176, JB138 and LL483 each became veterans of more than 100 operational sorties but not all sorties were flown from RAF Woolfox Lodge as the squadron moved to RAF Syaston in late 1942. Two one eight Gold Coast Squadron left down a market with their HA marked short Sterling bombers and arrived at Woolfox Lodge in March 1944. And on the night of their arrival, they set off on a raid at Le Mans in France. During their time at Woolfox, they carried out several mining and bombing sorties. In one month, they carried out over 70 missions with no losses with their short Sterlings and were later equipped with Avro Manchesters. 1651 HCU moved to RAF Woolfox Lodge in November 1944 from RAF Ratting Common. They were once equipped with short Sterling bombers but were then re-equipped with Avro Lancasters. Their markings on their Lancasters were Bravo Sierra. In 1960, Woolfox Lodge became a site for the Bristol Bloodhound surface-to-air missile under 62 Squadron. The Bristol Bloodhound was a British ramjet-powered surface-to-air missile developed during the 1950s. It served as the UK's main air defence weapon. This is what remains of the original control tower of RAF Woolfox Lodge. <laughs> 